Hi, Mrs. Vargas. Hey, Mrs. Jordan, how are you? Great, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just playing here with my standard light microscope. Cool. Can you tell me anything about the standard light microscope? Why, sure, I'd love to. The standard light microscope is a compound microscope, and it's called this because it has two or more lenses. One of the lenses is located in this part of the microscope, up here, and the other lenses are located in this part of the microscope, down here. And so because there are two or more lenses or lens systems, it's called compound. Wow. Would you like to know something else? I would. That was really exciting. Good. It's also called an optical microscope. And it's called optical because it uses these lenses to bend beams of light. The light source is down here, and it's sending light through this hole and into the microscope. Cool. So I think I'm going to see if I can see my finger. Cool. I want to see. I do too. Wow. Oh no. What's wrong? I, I can't see anything. Nothing? It's not working. Uh-oh. I wonder why. Why can't I see my finger? Well, obviously you don't know very much about how to use a standard light microscope. Maybe we should go through it together and then we can practice looking at things. Could you teach me something about the parts of the standard light microscope? I think I know a few. Let's go over some. Okay, well listen, let's switch places. Okay. Well, I think I need to adjust this microscope to make it a little bit more comfortable. Hold on, Mrs. Jordan. Could you please show us how you picked that microscope up again? That was very interesting. Absolutely. Whenever we pick up a microscope, we pick up a microscope with these two parts. This part is called the arm, and this part is called the base. Why don't you guys find the arm and base on your microscope? Mrs. Jordan, it looks like the light source that I was talking about then is part of the base. It is. But your light's not working. Oh, that's because we have to turn it on. Oh. This microscope is powered by electricity, so we have to plug it in and turn it on. I see. So where does the light go? The light from the light source shines up through a hole in the stage. Can I look at that hole? Yeah, come on over. Oh, I see it. Now, is the amount of light always the same that comes through that hole? We can control the amount of light coming through the stage with the diaphragm, which is right here on the side. It's set at number one right now, which is the lowest amount of light. And if I turn it, I can turn up the amount of light. Now we're at number two. If you watch the hole, you can see it get brighter. I see it getting brighter. Oh, there's a lot of light there. Now we're all the way up to <gasps> five, the wow. brightest. Can I take a look at the diaphragm from underneath the microscope? Absolutely. Okay. I will pick the microscope up from the arm and the base. Thank you. So I'm going to look underneath and oh, there's the dial. I can see it very clearly with the different size holes. So by turning that, I can control the amount of light going through the microscope. Now from what I've noticed, all our microscopes have this with the exception of one or two that are a little bit different, but we'll look at those in class. Mrs. Jordan, what other parts of the microscope can you tell us about? Well, we were just talking about the light that passes up through the hole in the stage. The stage supports the slide that you're using. Sometimes when I put a slide on the microscope, it slips around a lot. 
That's why we have stage clips. The stage clips are used to hold your slide in place. So you put one end of the slide under each stage clip. Okay everybody, now with your partner, please locate the light, the diaphragm, the stage, and the stage clips and talk about their functions with your partner. Can you point those out again, Mrs. Jordan? So that was the light, the diaphragm, the stage, and the stage clips. Good job finding all those parts with your partner. Mrs. Jordan, can you actually explain to us now how the microscope actually allows us to see things? Yeah, actually I have a slide in my pocket right here. All right. So I see you're sliding the slide under the stage clips, right on the stage, and getting it centered over the hole so the light goes through it. You always have to make sure your specimen is right over the hole so the light can pass through. Great. I can't see anything. I guess you'll have to focus it. Wait, stop! What? Mrs. Jordan, you're focusing on high power and you're using the course adjustment knob. Uh-oh. You're going to ram the lens right through the slide. Here, let me show you how to do it. Okay. Oh, thank goodness you stopped me. That's okay, Mrs. Jordan. Let me explain how these lenses work. If you recall, before I said that this is a compound microscope. That means it has a lens system here in the upper part and it has a lens system down here. Let me tell you what these are called and why I jumped when you tried to focus. This is called the revolving nose piece. It's called revolving because it moves around. These lenses are called the objective lenses. As you can see, our microscope has three objective lenses and they each magnify to different degrees. The red is always 4x. It will bend beams of light and make the image four times bigger. The yellow objective lens is 10x. You can actually see the 10 right here on the lens. That tells us that as the light comes through this lens it will bend the beams of light and it will create an image here that's 10 times bigger than what's on the slide. This is called low power. The 4X is also low power. Sometimes we say low, low power. But we'll mostly be working with 10X. The blue lens is called the high power. This is 40X. As light comes through the stage and hits this lens, the beams of light will be bent and create an image here that's 40 times bigger than what's on the slide. We always move the objective lenses into place using the revolving nose piece. Students, take a moment and locate the revolving nose piece on your microscope. Be sure as you move it that you don't pull it by the lens. If we pull the lens, it will damage the lens. Feel the click as each lens clicks into place over the stage. If the lens isn't clicked into place like that, then when we look through the eyepiece, we won't see anything. We have to be sure the lens is in place so the light can go through it. <laughs> 